was years ago, back when we were young, right? We were playing out in these fields and there was a stream with a pond like. And a really big pipe that ran across it, like really big, massive, that you could stand on. <coughs> so I'm sitting on this pipe and I'm checking out the view, you know. The sun is shining, the skies are blue. I'm looking down the pond because, you know, people throw random stuff in there like their animals, their cars, and it's interesting. Then sometimes, no, it's just rubbish. So, I'm having a look in the pond and I see this dummy. You know, like a dummy from a shop, and I think, hey, you look similar to a dummy in here. <laughs> Then, I have this, this moment, and it's really radical because you know you're looking at something and it's one thing, and you're still looking at it and it's something completely different. It's the same, but different. The same, but different. Same, different. Are you with me? One minute I'm looking at a dummy from a shop, the next I'm looking at a woman. A real woman. A real dead woman! I know she's dead because it's like a film, but it's not a film because it's real life, but it feels like a film because everything's gone in slow motion. Everything's a bit. <gasps> it's like I'm the camera, zooming in and out on this poor woman's dead body. She's getting bigger and then smaller, close up, then further away. <laughs> It's wild because it's in my head. It's my own personal film in my head. And I can freeze it. And I can. And then. In my own head. Well, cool. Well, not for her because she's dead, obviously. That was sick. Extreme.
Not that it's warm, mind. Fuck no. It's just too bright. So I'm needing a piss. So I wandered out the rocks by the shore, right? Because I'm not one to go up the house just yet. Oh. I have, you know, one of those orgasmic early morning slashes. You know, the ones that just seem to go on for hours. And I start to feel a bit better. So I think, you know, maybe some sea breeze will do me some good, right? So I clamber up this big bastard of a rock towards the side of the waves. And I'm just standing here, you know, just looking out. And there's some rocks down there. There's a bit of beach down there. Some more rocks. There's cliffs over there. Huge fucking seagulls swooping about the place. And the sea looks chilly, but I'm not kind of quiet. Like he's not had to get up here. And then, there's this seal, right? I can just see it bobbing up and down over there. And I thought it might be an otter at first, but no, it's too big. It's got to be a seal. But it's not really that close. Like, it's down by the beach and I'm up on this rock, but I've never seen a real seal before, except in the zoo. So it's, it's close enough. I can just stand here and watch it, you know? And, it, and it's nice. It feels like, like a secret. You know, it feels warmer. And then it all fucks up. So it starts to come in towards the beach, right? And it's starting to look a bit, bit weird. You know, a bit unfucking seal like. Suspiciously fucking human, in fact. And it comes in towards the beach. And it stands up! And the head's connected to our body with arms and legs and it's her. Merrin. Walking out the fucking sea like Ursula Andress. Who? Do you know her out of Dr. No? Oh, yeah. Aye, yeah, yeah. aye. So, she's not got the shell though. Oh. Or the knife. Or the fucking bikini. Oh. I mean, I'm not feeling a bit like Big Sean. Oh no, because I'm freezing, right? My jacket's too thin. My feet are soaked. My shoes haven't got any grip on the slippery rock. And I'm the wrong guy in the wrong place. If this beach had bouncers, I wouldn't even be allowed in. <laughs> but she's standing there, you know. Hair drying in the wind. Queen of the club. And I hate her. I hate her because there's a word for it, you know, like, there's a word for it. And I'm thinking it. I'm thinking it. Can't fucking say it. <laughs> I mean, fucking Ursula Andrews. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, you know. <laughs>
of the conversation, not me. And then he said, shall we still be friends? So I just said, we'll see. And then he asked, when I'm going to pick the stuff up, so I said, I'm not picking the stuff up. Someone else will pick the stuff up. I'll pay someone, I mean, it'll be healthier. And then he said, I was right to leave him, and it was right for me too. And then he turned round and said, the bed, the bed's not worn out, and I just got a lurch in the gut. And I just said, good. And then he said, but we bought that bed together. So I said, no, you paid for that. I paid for that, thank you. And then he said, well, that was our bed. We held a ceremony to bless it. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. So I said, it's just a bed and I've got to go. And then he said, remember the good times. So I said, I do. And then he said, can I give you a kiss? So I just said, yeah. <laughs> oh, on the okay. cheek. And he said, I've got some good memories. And I said, so do I. And he says, you do? So I said, I'd be pretty stupid to love you on and off for all these years, but not enjoyed some of it. And we part. So what did you do? I didn't pay somebody. I borrowed a van. I phoned him and he said, yeah, that's fine, that time. So I went round. And there was a woman stood in his doorway. He had a woman there and she had no idea why I was there. And she had no idea who I was. Bastard. I know I fucking love that microwave. <laughs> what the bloody hell are you two looking at? <coughs> I'm really sorry to hear about your microwave. Oh, bless you, don't bring that to this man.
Thank you.